Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we have been designing this quiz website using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And this is how it works. We can see that we have different questions displayed over here. And after five questions, we have the result displayed. So we had completed designing this in the previous video. Now, in this video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger website. So let's get started. <laughs> Now before adding this to our blogger website, let's also add a start screen to our quiz. So let's go back to our source code. And here in the HTML, let's create a division. Let's give it a class of start button container. And in this we will have an H2 and uh, let's type general knowledge. And uh, then we will have a paragraph to have some information about the quiz. So let's type test your knowledge across various categories. And then lastly, let's also create a button and uh, let's give it a class of start btn. And here let's type start quiz. And uh, by default, we'll just hide this quiz container. So let's go to our styler CSS file. And here for the quiz container, let's type display of none. And now let's go ahead and uh, style this uh, start button container so let's go ahead and type start button container and uh, the first thing we will do is uh, we will set the position to absolute and we'll just bring it to the center of the screen so let's type top of 50 percent left of 50 percent and now we can see it starts from the 50 percent mark by the way we can see that the end screen is also displayed over here because the timer has run out so for that let's go back to our javascript file and uh, here we can see that we are calling this function called create questions over here. So we'll just remove this function call from here. And we'll start the quiz only after clicking on this start quiz button. Right now we can see that it starts from the center. So let's go back to our CSS and let's tap transform, translate, and let's set it to negative 50% and negative 50% for x and y axis. And now we can see it is exactly in the center. But now let's set the font family to Roboto and sans serif. And let's set the display to flex and flex direction to column. And let's also align items to the center. Right now let's style this H2. So let's type start button container H2. And let's set the font size to 40 pixels and uh, let's set the margin to zero. Right now let's style this button. So for the button, we have this uh, button with the class of start btn. So let's tap start button container start btn. And uh, let's set the background color to this red color right here. Let's set the color of the text to white. And uh, let's set a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and uh, 32 pixels left and right. And uh, let's also set a border radius for rounded corners. And let's set the value to 8 pixels. And let's remove the border. So let's tap border none. And let's set the font size to 24 pixels. And let's set the cursor to pointer and the text transform to uppercase. And let's set the font weight to bold. And this is how the start screen looks. Right now, let's go back to our HTML file and uh, here we can go ahead and delete all these things inside the quiz result because we are generating all of this in the JavaScript file. So let's delete everything inside quiz result. Right now, the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to start the quiz when we click on this start button and we need to hide this start button container after that. So here, let's go ahead and reference those two elements. So here, let's tap const start button container and let's set it equal to document dot query selector start btn container and then let's also reference the start button so let's tap const start btn equals document dot query selector start btn container start btn right now the next thing we need to do is when we click on this start button we need to hide this start btn container so let's add an event listener to this start btn so here I'll just tap start btn dot add event listener and let's listen for the click event 
let's create an arrow function and here let's type start btn container dot style dot display equals none and then we need to display this uh, quiz container because we had hidden it over here so let's go ahead and display it so let's type quiz container dot style dot display equals block and then we need to start the quiz so we need to call this function called create question so let's type create question and now let's see whether this works so let's go back to our quiz and let's click on the start quiz button and now we can see that the quiz gets started and everything is working all right and then we can retake the quiz but if we refresh this page we can see that we get this start screen and we have to click on the start quiz button to start the quiz right now let's go ahead and add this to our blogger website so for that let's go to the blogger dashboard and here i have logged into my blogger dashboard and uh, let's go ahead and create a new post for a quiz and here let's type general knowledge quiz and uh, here the first thing we need to do is change this into the html view so click on this button and click on html view now here you can add your html css and javascript code so first of all let's add the css so i'll just create a style tag for that and in the style tag we will add the css so let's go back to our source code and let's go to our style css file and let's copy all these css from here and let's paste it over here and the next thing we need to do is add the html so let's go back to our source code and let's go to the html file and let's copy all this html inside the body and uh, let's paste it over here and then lastly we need to paste the javascript code so let's create a script tag for that and uh, let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file let's copy all this javascript from here and let's paste it over here right now let's see whether this works so let's click on publish and confirm and here we can see our post has been published let's click on this view button and uh, here we can see we have this start quiz button but here we can see that the positioning of this uh, start button container is not correct in our design we didn't have any other content so we just placed it in the center of the screen but for our blogger website we need to remove the absolute position so let's go back to our post and uh, let's go to our css and let's scroll down and uh, here we have the start button container and let's remove all this code from here and now let's click on update and now let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page and now we can see it looks all right now we need to change the color of this text to black so let's go back and we need to do that for all these uh, containers so we have the start button container we have the quiz container and also the quiz result so here we have the quiz container so let's type color of black and then we have the quiz result so here for the quiz results let's type color and let's set it to black and then lastly we have the start button container and here also let's type color and let's set it to black and let's update it and let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page and now we can see we have the correct color for the text let's click on start quiz button and here we have our quiz and uh, it is working all right let's click on one of these options and let's click on next and we have the next question and everything is working all right let's see whether we have the result displayed and now we can see that we have the result displayed and we have scored three out of five and we have all the question and answers displayed over here we have the answer that we submitted and the correct answer and then if we scroll down we have the retake quiz button and it also works all right so that's basically how you can add this quiz to your blogger website right now if you go back to our source code here are some things that we can customize so we have the heading over here you can change this to anything you want and uh, this is the info about our quiz which is displayed in the start screen and then here we have the start button and then here we have the heading of the quiz so you can change this to whatever you want and uh, then if you go to the main.js file 
here are all the questions and options and the correct answer now you can go ahead and change this to whatever you want you can add the question over here you can add the options in this array and you can add the correct answer over here so you can create as many questions as you want over here and if you scroll down here we have the maximum number of questions that we can have for this quiz so you can change this to whatever you want for now i have set it to five and then if you scroll down and if you go to the create question function here we can see that the seconds left so right now it is set to nine which means it will start from 10 so we will have 10 seconds left all together now if you want to change this to something else you can just change the number over here so if you want to change this to 20 seconds you can just change this to 19 and here in this text content you can just change this to time left 20 seconds and then you will have 20 seconds for each of the questions in your quiz so these are basically the major customizations that you can do in your code right now let's go back to our blogger website and let's go ahead and add a new quiz so adding a new quiz is really simple you can just go ahead and copy this whole code from here and go back let's create a new post and uh, for this one let's create a quiz for sports so let's tap sports quiz and here let's paste all the code now here the only thing you need to do is you need to change these questions and you also need to change these headings over here so here i'll just change this heading to sports and here i'll just change this info to test your knowledge about sports and here for this heading let's change this to sports quiz and then you can simply go ahead and add your questions over here inside this quiz data array so i'll just quickly go ahead and get some questions from chat gpt all right so here i'm in the chat gpt website so let's type give me 10 questions regarding sports in this format in a javascript array of objects and uh, let's add the format over here so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here and let's press enter and here we can see that chat gpt is giving us this array of objects for all the sports questions and let's go ahead and copy this from here so let's copy all these objects and let's go ahead and paste it inside this quiz data array all right so here i have copied and pasted all these questions and options and the answers so now let's go ahead and click on publish and confirm and now if you go back to our website here we can see that we have the sports quiz and here we have the general knowledge quiz so if you go to sports quiz here we can see it says sports test your knowledge about sports let's click on start quiz and here we can see that we have the questions regarding sports so you can go ahead and solve this and everything is working all right we have the correct result screen displayed over here so these are all the questions regarding sports which we just added and if you go back to our general knowledge quiz now we can see we have the general knowledge quiz and uh, here we can see we have all the questions that we added earlier so that's basically how you can add this quiz to your blogger website so in this way you can go ahead and add any number of quiz you want to your blogger website all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.